My name is Jason Evans. I'm a project engineer with Knot Laboratory and a former law enforcement officer. Knot Laboratory has been an industry leader for 35 years. We provide forensic engineering investigations for mechanical and structural failures and explosion and fire investigations as well. We specialize in accident reconstruction and creating forensic animations. Today, there are cameras everywhere, from cell phone cameras to security cameras to doorbell cameras. Law enforcement officers are either wearing body-worn cameras or will be here in the near future. This generates a massive amount of data and footage that can be utilized as evidence. But what do you do with all that evidence? How do you distill it down to prove your case? Additionally, a photograph or a video doesn't tell us everything. Our experts are able to fill in the gaps and help you tell the whole story. This is why we created Digital Media Forensics. This process uses existing digital evidence and data to establish the facts in the case, eliminate issues, create transparency, and clearly communicate the case to the jury. We take existing digital evidence, such as photos or videos, and place them into an accurately measured scan of the scene. Then our digital media forensic experts derive critical information to prove or disprove points of your case. For example, we can discover the location of people, vehicles, or objects at any moment throughout the incident, identify points of rest and the location of evidence, the speed, pitch, yaw, roll, and angles of any object, and create a second by second timeline of the events. Additionally, our team can use methods such as motion capture and real-time simulation to further illuminate the findings of the case. Let's take a look at a few of our case studies. This incident is an officer-involved shooting during a domestic violence call. Not Laboratory was provided body-worn camera footage, dash cam footage, and crime scene evidence. We synchronized the video and the sound in all the provided footage and used video matching to generate a 3D model of the scene. From this, we were able to determine the officer's location during the incident, the speed of the officer's movements, the victim's movements, and the timing of major points during the incident. We combined all the data and footage into a consumable visualization for people to clearly understand what occurred during the incident. This case involved a fatal accident where Tony Stewart's sprint car collided with Kevin Ward Jr., killing Mr. Ward. This case had limited digital evidence. There was one video, which was constantly moving and only captured a limited area of the track. Not Laboratory was able to generate a 3D model of the incident from the video and the evidence collected from the scene. This allowed us to determine the vehicle's positions on the track, those paths the vehicles took, and the vehicle's speeds. We generate an accurate visualization with the analyzed data, which helped us answer questions in this case. This incident is an officer involved shooting that occurred during a traffic stop. Not Laboratory was provided dashboard camera footage, a point cloud scan of the scene, crime scene evidence, and the victim's vehicle for review. Using video matching, vehicle movement analysis, and other engineering skills, we were able to determine the vehicle's speed during the incident, distance between the vehicles, and the officer's movements during the incident. We were able to extrapolate the vehicle's path outside the view of the camera from provided evidence and generate numerous factual documents and visual aids for the jury. To learn more about Knot Laboratory's Digital Media Forensic Division, please visit knotlab.com.